<laughs> what is up everybody and welcome back to the channel so today we're here inside create a sim giving the daily household a much needed mega makeover to kind of celebrate this new transition period in their lives so in case you guys didn't know the daily household is actually from my eco lifestyle lp that just recently ended we are about to start up season two and i'm seriously so freaking excited to see what the future holds so this my friends is kale daily he is the adopter son to both Ben and Marlo. We got him when he was a toddler and now he's practically an adult. It has been such an honor watching the sim grow. I absolutely love his super humble down to earth personality. He's kind of a socialite too but isn't the most popular kid in class. And with that, I kind of wanted it to kind of elaborate on that transition period between leaving teenage dumb and entering adulthood, which can definitely be kind of like a little awkward phase. So even though you guys didn't see it in the beginning, I'm going to kind of like reiterate what I did. Um, so I went ahead and added in some acne because, you know, at this age, hormones are raging. Also, side note, he's got a little peach fuzz growing in, but it isn't too dense. So I went ahead and kind of, you know, used a lighter color for the peach fuzz. So it wasn't so like loud in your face. He's also recently discovered that his vision isn't exactly 2020, so he has been prescribed eyeglasses. And for his cast wardrobe, I just kind of wanted to elaborate on his character a little bit. I don't really know what his style is like, to be 100% honest with you. It's kind of all over the place. He kind of just picks, you know, whatever articles of clothing he likes. He's not really trying to dress to impress by any freaking means whatsoever. Honestly, the only person that he is trying to captivate the attention of is his girlfriend, Summer Grover, which, by the way, these days is kind of resembling Kermit the Frog. So we need to give that girl a much needed make over so up until this point up until cottage living to be more specific if your sim liked animals you only had two different options right you could only choose from cat lover or dog lover which i found honestly a little bizarre so now with cottage living you can actually have your sim be an animal enthusiast so that's what i did a little bit later i actually changed up his traits a little bit i also made him a clumsy and adventurous because i think hill could be all of those things i can definitely see him him fumbling around not being the most elegant <laughs> when it comes to you know walking around class or maybe you know the most how would you say the most um not elegant I wouldn't say elegant but the most graceful in PE for sure but he is adventurous like he'll try anything once even if he isn't that good at it or if he fumbles or falls like it's just it's all in the experience for him I just I don't know I really think he is such an amazing an amazing character also he's still in the trenches when it comes to scouts I wish that I was able to actually give him a scout uniform in creative sim I think there's a way that you can do that but obviously I wasn't able to uh, figure it out so the last outfit that we need to finalize of course is his outdoor wear i was obsessed with this cap but then there's like only a couple solid swatches but no black or no white which i found really weird so then i had to kind of like change his entire outfit around this navy freaking cap i just love the way that it sat and like how his hair kind of like feathered around it i thought that was really cool so as you guys can see i'm playing around with the traits i do have some custom ones installed as well but i actually didn't use any of those um kale's lifetime goal at the moment which of course is subject to change is he's a soulmate i mean well he wants to be a soulmate he might be somebody else's soulmate but he is on the quest to find his one true love and i think we may have found her however it still might be just a little too early to tell so for marlo i really wanted to show how she's kind of matured over the years it's crazy to me to think that hypothetically speaking this lp started when she was literally just entering her adult years like i think she was like i don't even know how old exactly but in her early 20s maybe even before that i don't even know if it was legal for her to drink but i wanted to go and add in um some aging details so i put the little forehead wrinkles in because she's been you know kind of scorning a lot these days especially at blossom because oh my god that girl is rambunctious i absolutely am obsessed with the cottage living items does anybody else feel that way because i feel like i am able to create 
so many styles out of them, especially when I pair them up with items from Eco Lifestyle. The options are truly freaking endless. So Marlo has officially, okay, swapped out her eyebrow ring for some beautiful hoops. That's one thing that's new. She doesn't wear her eyebrow ring anymore. Um, her and Ben actually had matching eyebrow rings that they got when they were like super duper young. I don't even think they were 18 yet and they were kind of being all rebellious like yes i'm cool because i have an eyebrow ring that type of a bag um I gave her this dress, which I think is custom content. I'm not exactly sure how I feel about it. I love this updo though. The cool thing about it is that you can actually um, go in and change the clip colors. So I think I chose a brown just to kind of tie it all together. I was having a really hard time. Like I was literally on the struggle bus when it came to choosing her hairstyles because Marlo's hair by um, nature. <laughs> wow okay naturally um is kind of like curly sort of but it's not it's more of like those loose waves which is a super duper hard hairstyle to find like an abundance of so that was a fun task um while we're finishing up marlo i did kind of want to talk to you guys about the upcoming series and also about the foremans because i've got a solid plan okay so for the next season of the dailies i don't know what to call it i don't know if we're gonna call it cottage living or if we're gonna name it something else completely y'all can let me know some ideas and suggestions in the comments down below but i am i am aiming to get this next series season two up and running by either this week early is this week um but no later than next week which means my ultimate goal is to get the foremans up the following week so for instance um it's not gonna be this week <laughs> Even if, well, I guess let me just kind of backtrack a little bit. No matter what, at the latest in two weeks from this video airing, uh, the foreman's will be up on a Friday, of course, because the whole foreman Friday thing. It's just been, it's been taking me a really long time. Trust me, I have good reasons, but it is, it is time. It is time. And I'm so excited to have my two favorite families back on the channel. I have so much planned. I've got so many mods installed. Like y'all, it's about to be a freaking good time. I feel like, I, I, I feel like that's the way that we connect, you know, that's the way we vibe. We get silly we get goofy we get funny um and then the mod reviews like i just i don't know i feel like i can do that too right like <laughs> did we did we not see that little clip in um how to uh unlock building restrictions in apartments i mean i don't think anybody got that i was really showing my age there but anyways really excited about the lps i know some of you feel like with ben's sexuality i didn't elaborate it enough um i did kind of elaborate on why that might feel that way in the comment section of the last video so if you guys want to go ahead um, and check that out there was a lot of discussion around the matter and i feel like i i explored it within the confines of the marriage <laughs> they were still married they were never you know separated and so i don't think that ben really wanted to divorce um and i don't think he was able to really explore in the way that he could have been but even if he could have i don't think he would have wanted to so for ben's story we explored it as much as he wanted us to if that makes sense as much as his story would allow and i have no regrets like i feel like ben really came full circle i love that man with all my heart he's not in this <laughs> uh makeover just because he did get a makeover in the last episode and i just kind of wanted to focus on the fam bam here if that's cool um but yeah he's a good dude and I, I know some people thought i was trying to make him out to be a criminal never that never never he was just a man struggling trying to find out you know who he was in this big vast world and i'm proud of him like 10 out of 10 like i'm proud of who he is who he has became and i really do hope <laughs> like i i pray that ben and marlo you know love each other i think the easiest thing uh some people were saying oh the easiest thing is to keep them together to keep them together in this world true story like take it from me who's been divorced the easiest thing is to walk out when it gets hard right sometimes staying together through it is mission impossible and so i don't think that's really fair to say that the easiest thing is for them to stick together and being apart would be harder because 
I actually don't find that to be true. I really don't. Personal experience and all, but it's everybody's story um, is honestly is honestly different. So we're gonna wrap up Marlo's catalog. As you guys can see, I am using my brand new lip duo, which is called Cacao. Um, there's like a lip liner and a beautiful new gloss. If you guys wanna check it out, it's available for my Supreme supporters on Patreon, but will be available for a public release on Z13. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know, I, I like your catalog, it's different. She was once kind of like that grungy sim, you know, kind of edgy, kind of like punk. Um, and then now she's like this whole mom living it up, but that cod cottage lifestyle. Um, I don't know. I really love Marta though. She's like super duper near and dear to my heart. Like I love, love, love her. So for Blossom, this is my little pain in the culo. You know, I feel like she's going to be trouble. One thing I like about this girl though, I'm going to be honest with you guys. She is unapolog unapologetically herself, even though her name is super duper girly. This girl will literally break your fingers and your toes if you come at her sideways. She will kick your ass at a game of basketball. She will make you cry like a big baby on the field when it comes to passing around the soccer ball. And I love that about her because you know what? Having a brother, like I feel like that rubbed off on her. She is so so wild and I love the fact that she's also very adventurous just like Kale is and it kind of shows like I said she has like kind of like a, a duo personality like her style is kind of whatever she's feeling you'll see it especially when it comes to her um sleepwear like that girl literally looks like she pulled every article of clothing out of her dresser drawer blind because none of it matches and again I'm really 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 pumped to see how her character develops I don't really know a lot about her yet but I can kind of see where we're going and uh, I'm just I'm ready for it I'm so freaking ready for it um anyways I think I'm gonna go ahead and kind of start uh wrapping up this um makeover here I did do a huge CC shopping haul which will be coming up la uh, lately uh, hopefully soon I don't think it'll be before this video just a quick little FYI in case there are some pieces in there that you saw that are recent or new or whatever um, but I did <laughs> well I guess I did showcase a couple from that haul in here so I just want to let you know I have a CC shopping haul um, that you guys can check out here very very soon now I did do a couple things in terms of likes and dislikes that is something that I really love for my sims to kind of discover on their own naturally but for blossom I made her favorite color green I thought that was kind of fitting because she like loves the outdoors oh I also made one of her likes for hobbies fishing I don't know why I just could totally see her enjoying it even though it could be kind of gross sometimes putting the the worm on the hook and touching the slimy fishes I think she would enjoy it, but I think honestly Kale would probably like have a freaking conniption Like I think he would literally like combust <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so that's one of her one of her likes and then For Kale, I couldn't remember what his favorite color was and I wasn't able to go back and look in previous episodes So if you guys could like let me know in the comments down below that would be great I think I made his favorite color blue and then for Marlo I think her favorite color is black, but I'm not 100% sure I honestly have literally no freaking idea. So for the last outfit, here we have our winter outfit. I am obsessed with that freaking hat for some reason. I also really like the, the texture of that sweater. It's kind of fuzzy and all the colors are muted. Um, oh, also another thing really fast before I wrap this up. Um, I'm really grateful <laughs> that I was able to play around with a, a girl because I discovered that really cute like knitted crocheted dress that came with eco lifestyle. And yeah, that's all I wanted to say. It's a beautiful dress. I can't even believe I just realized now that it existed but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video here i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did you know what to do don't forget to go ahead and comment rate, and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine and i will see you all next time bye guys